so before we go into uh, Maya for modeling, um, there's something that I think we should uh, consider. Um, when it comes to modeling the barn, there is a workflow in Synthize that I would like to show. Um, it's called the um, survey shots. So let's go to shot and um, do a survey shot. And we'll call this um, inside of Synthize folder. Um, let's call it barn. Yes, I'm going to replace it. And here we're going to add some sequences. So let's go to um, principal photography. And here we have um, 0, 1, 2, and 3. These are the four frames that I'm going to take. Now the reason why I have separated this out is because in Fusion I wanted to also have ability to have no image sequences type um, uh, barn here. So this is just the same picture but in different name. So we're going to take this uh, sequence and open and in here you see you have 0, 1, 2, 3 uh, in that sequence. If not then you can always move up and down. So I'm going to say OK. So it's going to ask what frame rate and all that. That's irrelevant for what we are trying to do here. So I'm not going to uh, be bothered with that. And um, uh, yeah, let's just go with this here. So all you have here is frame number one, two, three, and four, right? So these are the four images. Now you can use survey shot methodology to um, do some sort of a modeling. So this is what I mean. Let's go to um, trackers. But before we start tracking anything, um, there's something that we should consider here. We need to log the Z drop on so that um, when we go from frame to frame, our um, track mark is not going to significantly move. And the second thing we need is this is going to be a um, uh, handheld sticky, which has a better result in terms of how you want to uh, uh, have a good workflow. So um, let's create our first track. Before we do that, let's just move um, in these four frames and see what we want to track. So um, I would like to track what is visible. Um, yeah, let's uh, just save this in Synthize. Um, what we would like to do, um, to start with anyway, is find a part of the object that is visible in all frames, right? So here is here are the four frames. And what I can see is um, this window, for example, is going to be visible throughout the shot. So let's just take this corner here and track this point. Um, now I'm going to move to the, uh, to the next frame and I'm just simply hitting D key on my keyboard. Let's move the frame over to that spot again. Now S key is going to put me back and D forward. So I'm going to move between S and D just to make sure that this track here is relatively solid. And that looks good. Now I'm going to move to the next frame and again track that particular part of the building looks like that we have tracked and then the fourth one I'm going to move manually to somewhere here let's see how it works yeah a little bit of adjustment maybe so I have successfully tracked this particular point it seems in my entire shot here. So I'll just go ahead and lock that and do the same thing with uh, another um, part of the um, uh, the barn. So let's just pick up this particular point. So that's one. Next frame. Then the next. And then the final frame. This probably needs a little bit of adjustment. Yep, that looks good. So I'm going to lock that. Um, let me just show you a couple of more and then um, 
I'm going to do a bunch of these offline because as you can see this is quite a tedious process to go through frame by frame. Um, the advantage of this is that you have full control over what you're trying to do. Disadvantage other than um, this being a tedious process uh, is that um, because you are using a very high resolution image, this is not HD, this is beyond HD. Um, I don't know how many megapixels uh, there are in this frame, but the point being that because pixels are so packed densely, you have very good resolution, but which, which also means that when Synthize is going to give you a solve, it's going to have a higher um, error count than what you may be used to which is okay given the dense uh, resolution but something to be mindful of okay so it looks like this may be somewhere here okay so this is how I'm going to track this particular point lock it and go back let's do one more that I'll do here one, yep, three, and the last one is going to be here. Right, so I'm going to lock this one. So now you have uh, the window basically tracked. And what I would do is go find different parts of the building and track in all four frames. And then once I am done, with at that, that point, I would um, just do a, a normal uh, solve. Um, and it will give me uh, a, um, a very good solve of the, uh, of the building. And then I'll take this inside of uh, Maya or uh, Houdini or wherever I'm going to be doing modeling. In this case, it will be Maya. And now I will have a reference as to how do I want to construct this particular building. I will have the roof points, exactly how I want the roof laid out. Uh, how do I want my wall and my windows and everything. So this would be a very good guidance for me to start modeling process inside of Maya. So I just wanted to highlight this. Um, I'm going to finish this um, offline and then come back and do the solve and uh, that will be the end of the video before we go inside of Maya. Alright, so I have a few features tracked here and I'm going to now try to solve and see what we get. So let's go to the solver workflow here and hit go and we have some results here. We have two pixel error 2.25 which as I mentioned is not something that normally you would accept um, but given that this is a, a high resolution um, image uh, 2 pixel is uh, not out of the uh, possibility um, let's see if we have any particular tracker that we can remove this one seems to have high error count 5 uh, 2.4 this is 9 that's 3 three two most of them are between two and three but there is one that is nine this one doesn't seem to be locked so let's go to the uh, tracker and lock it and um, go back to the saw and let's continue here three two yeah so this is the only one that seems to be the problem so let's just delete that and try to track again and our error is 2.2 which for modeling purposes it's not bad at all so now you can see that uh, it also shows you know how I must have moved around the building to take the pictures there is a nice um, demonstration video on Synthize's um, website so you can also look, look at that as to how to do the uh, uh, survey shot but this is what I'll uh, export in uh, Maya and Houdini just like how we have done um, before 
um, in this case I'll just do Maya because that's where I'm going to um, do the modeling of the um, uh, of the barn so let's go final shot Maya and here I have this barn I'll just replace that and there you go so now we'll go in Maya and start modeling process thanks a lot